it's me Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video that I promised in my last video. I'm going to show you what's inside of my bag as a design student here in Japan. If you guys didn't know, I study at a graphic design college. It's not really a graphic design college. Actually, it's a vocational school with many different bunya. And I happen to study graphic design. Recently, I bought this really huge bag. Let me show you guys. Really huge bag from Three Coins. This cost 1,500 yen, which is actually a really good price. And I'm going to fill this thing up with some pins or badges or something. But since I just got this new bag, I didn't fill it up yet. So it's kind of blank. So just to start with the outside of the bag, I have this little... <laughs> Splatoon plushie here. It's really cute. I got this at the Nintendo store in Tokyo. And then I have this really cute checky holder, but I have some like K-pop photo cards, but I don't want to put a K-pop photo card in here because low-key it's kind of like embarrassing. People that are walking by are gonna know that you're like a fan of that person and I don't want people to know. So I put this really cute kurikura in here. I took this a long time ago, but I really like the white background and it's a cute picture so I put it in here and then on the side I have this little fan you can just detach it like this so if you guys didn't know in Japan it's super super hot in summer so I always carry this around with me I got it from Furang Furang and to turn this on you just hold this button and it has three levels and I really love this. I literally would not be able to survive without this thing. So I keep it here just so that I can access it whenever I need to. Turning to the side, here I keep my water bottle. Ta-da! It's actually empty because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just filming this video, but here is my water bottle. I bought this from Keiyuka. I really love their homeware and I think that it's really cute. It has a straw like this and also you can drink from it like this. So this is really nice and it fits nicely in this pocket right here. And then at the back it has these two pockets and I just keep a little handkerchief in here. It's Kiki's delivery service because after I wash my hands, I like to dry it with my little cloth. I noticed that like everybody in Japan, they, well girls mostly, bring around their own cloths like this. I don't think it's very common in Canada. If it's common in your country to bring around a little handkerchief, leave a comment down below and let me know. So let's start licking inside of my bag. By the way, you guys might be wondering like, why are you wearing like ram ears? Why are you a ram? It's because I was walking by um, Wego and these were on sale for only 300 yen. And then I'm like, I kind of want this. I kind of want this. It's like really cute. Then I'm like, what am I going to do with ram ears? And I'm like, oh wait, I could wear it in a video. So I'm wearing it in a video. <laughs> Okie dokie. So first thing I'm going to show you is probably the heaviest thing in here. Like my literal shoulders are so sore from walking around. Da -da -da -da. My MacBook. So because I go to design school, we have to use things like Photoshop or Illustrator or you know other programs on the computer. So you actually are required to buy a MacBook. Luckily, I already had this one, so I didn't have to buy a new one. I really want a new MacBook because I bought this in 2020, 2020, and now it's 2024. So this thing is like broke up and mash up. It's like really not good anymore. Yeah, it runs extremely hot. It's even hot right now, even though it's off. I'm in a lot of hot water because of this. Also, it makes editing videos really difficult because sometimes Premiere Pro just literally shuts down like crazy because it gets so hot. Think about that. Okay. <laughs> okay, next thing I have. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <gasps> He's so cute. He's so cute. It's Mona. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I recently bought this in my last vlog. I told you guys I would show you which one I bought. This is the one I chose. Yeah, let's take a look inside. So actually, I'm using this little guy as a makeup pouch. So open it up. I love this pink color. Open him up. Oh my gosh, he's getting a lobotomy. First thing, 
Summer Fridays lip balm. I'm wearing it right now. Does it look cute? Yeah, it does. Okay, <laughs> Summer Fridays and Vanilla Beige. I love this one. Looks like a lip gloss, but feels like a lip balm. <laughs> I'm sick, okay. Next thing in here, doo -doo. What is this? You might be asking yourself. Well, this is a really famous product here in Japan. This is called Mato Maju. I, I really don't know. You open it up. It's kind of disgusting because what this actually is, is a wax stick. So you put it on your hair like this and it will like matomeru your hair. See? So it like makes your hair go into one shape if you have like frizzy hair. See that? It literally makes your hair go into one shape like this. I should use it on the back, but I don't like to use it all over my hair because then I'm gonna have to wash my hair and it's easier to wash the front of my hair and then just leave the back. So I don't use it in the back. But yeah, this is really helpful especially for Japanese humidity. It's extremely hot here in the summer. So this is one of my favorite products. Really nice. Next, ta UV Balm Sunscreen Stick. This is the Juicy Pang SPF 50 plus plus something. And it smells really good, but first of all, it doesn't come with that much product. I already used a lot of it. And also, I don't like how it makes your skin greasy, but also I heard that these types of things don't really protect your hair, I mean, your skin that much from the sun. Like you need to apply it a lot, but if I'm gonna reapply sunscreen, it's easier for me to use a stick. So I just have this little mini one and I also bought it because it was on sale for only 499 yen. So that was extremely cheap. Next one, ta -da! Eyebrow Pencil. I actually bought this recently and I'm wearing it today. So it just makes my eyebrows look a little bit more good, I guess. And I bought this because it was also extremely cheap, only 500 yen, which is like half the price of what they usually cost. And it's this type where it's kind of thick, so you just kind of fill it in. And then it also has a brush. Next one. Is Etude House Zero Sebum. And this is Chimmy if you guys like BT21. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, the reason why I bought this is because it was also on sale for maybe 300 yen. So literally less than like $2. This just helps get rid of all of the all of the shine on my face after I use the sunscreen. So I like to put this on, oh my gosh, after sunscreen. Next one, I have eyeliner. I'm not wearing eyeliner today, but just in case I need to reapply my eyeliner, I bring this. Let's take the last two items out at the same time. So I have this Peripera, what is this called? Water Bear, Water Bear Tint. Water Bear Tint. And this is in the shade 06 Softly Brown. This is not brown at all. I literally like was so angry, but I'm wearing it right now. It kind of grabbed onto a patch of my lip because I pick my lips a lot. I also bite my nails. But this is the color. Let me swatch it. This is what the color looks like. And I'm wearing it right now little bit and lastly I have the ColourPop lippy pencil and I use this on my top lip only just to make the brown a little bit more darker this is what it looks like you guys can't tell I have two-tone lips so I like to use this one to actually darken it because this is actually kind of funny story one time me and my friend were walking around the neighborhood and then we came across this old Japanese lady and then apparently the lady so I heard the lady telling me that my lips are thin <laughs> But my friend told me like, oh, I misheard. Actually, the lady was telling me that my lip color is thin, like, because I was wearing no lip gloss at the time. So she was telling me that my lip color is very pale and light. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. So I like to darken my like lip color and I think it really looks good on me and suits my features very well. Okay, let's sit that back. Next item inside my bag is my folder and I have a Hatsune Miku or Vocaloid folder. I got this from Seria, only 100 yen. And I just keep all the like studio for school in here. So yeah, it's really cute. Next thing I have inside my bag is this book. This is N1 Tango and it has 3,000 3, words. Um, Basically, 
the reason why I carry this around with me is so that I could study wherever I go. I already introduced this book in my how to study Japanese video, but I'll just show you guys one more time. It comes with this red sheet and you like put the sheet over the word and you like move it down to reveal the word that's written in red. So see, hides, show. So I just practice like this. I'm studying for the N1 now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it. It literally depends on if I have enough money to pay for the test. <laughs> So yeah, and the application is like in 10 days. So somehow I need to get the money if I'm gonna take the test. I'll leave the link in the description box for N5 and N4, which is, are like the easier versions of this. So check it out if you're interested in studying like Japanese vocabulary wherever you are. I really like this book. Next item. What is this? This is the Tudu Tudu Red Cushion Mask Fit Foundation. I'm not wearing it today, but sometimes I like to wear this when I'm feeling fancy and when it's not too hot outside. Uh, recently, they came out with brown shades, so I bought it. And actually, the shade is a little bit too dark for me. I'll swatch it for you guys. Okay, that looks like a good match, but it's the lighting. Sometimes it's a little bit too dark, but if I do a very light layer, it can match my skin good. I have this in my bag. I don't bring it every day, but I bring it on the days that I wear it. Next thing I have inside my bag is this. These are Yore Sara Sara Powder Body Sheets. Okay, what I use this for is exactly what it sounds like. I wipe my body with these sheets when it's really hot outside and like you're sweating. And also when it's really humid, you feel like sticky from all the humidness. I have these body sheets for when I'm just feeling extremely sticky and like I want to get the stickiness off of me. So this is a really good product if you come to Japan in the summer. Next thing I have is my pencil case. This is my pencil case. It's so heavy like... I have too many things in here. In here I have, I'll just show you guys, some Tombow dual tip markers. I have my Microns, Muji pen, pencil, lead, pencils, pens, everything in here. I have so many things in here. And also I have a mini coffee. Yeah, that makes 100% sense. I really love this pencil case. I got it from Daiso, only 100 yen. Next thing, a scrunchie. I love this scrunchie. I recently bought this. If you guys want me to do, actually not even if you guys want me to do one, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna show you guys all of my hair accessories in a different video, but recently I'm collecting like scrunchies and claw clips. And today's scrunchie is this one. You can kind of not see it because of my headband, but I'm really into scrunchies these days. So I bought this jean kind of scrunchie. Next, I have my sunglasses so I can look like a celebrity. These are my sunglasses and it just makes me look so cool, like cool, cool, yeah, so cool, like cool, right? So when you want to look bougie, you can just add a cheap pair of sunglasses and you'll look so like cool and mysterious. And I love wearing sunglasses because you can look at everybody and they don't know that you're looking at them. So <laughs> this is why I love to wear sunglasses. Next, Vaseline. I don't even know why I have this. Sometimes I, I use this Vaseline like on my elbows, like when it's really ashy. Or sometimes I use it on my lips or knees or something. So I just carry this around because you can use it on literally everything and it's really an OG product. Everybody uses it all around the world. Next thing I have, I'm kind of scared to show you so I don't dox myself. I have my passport, if you guys didn't know I'm Canadian. And then I also have my bank book for Yucho Bank in here. I don't really use my Yucho account that much because I hate, or let me not say anything, but I'm not the biggest fan of Yucho Bank. So I switched my bank now and some of you guys might be wondering like oh aren't you afraid you're gonna lose your passport and the complete honest answer is actually no i'm not scared because i lost my residence card before at the convenience store and actually i was able to get it back so it was actually pretty easy everything turned out in the end so no i'm not afraid of losing my passport number one i never lose things number two if i do then i could find it really fast okay next thing inside my bag this i have my lovely loisurum journal i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but i love this thing so much someone actually commented about the stickers on my journal these are my absolute favorite stickers these are from an artist called gemlington she doesn't sell her art anymore i don't think it's kind of sad but i just love this so 
so much. Oh my gosh. I write everything down in here, like my schedule, YouTube ideas, what I'm gonna do for the day, my main quest, my side quest, everything I use this for. And it's just really, really my love. Next thing, this next item is a little bit embarrassing. An umbrella. Yeah, you might be asking, why is this embarrassing how can an umbrella be embarrassing well actually it's embarrassing because i brought this to use as a hingasa so like a sun umbrella but this is a very cheap 300 yen umbrella from daiso so it's actually made for the rain and it's extremely thin so i was using it out in public and i i was realizing like as i'm using it it's not blocking any sun from me like the sun is just passing through the thing and everybody else is walking around with like their expensive like hingasa and i'm the only one with like this 300 yen one that's not working so then i just put it back in the case and then i haven't used it since <laughs> So I'm just gonna use this for the rain now. I'm not gonna try and use it as a hingasa, but I was so mad because I thought that it was really gonna work because it looks really dark. It looks kind of like black a little bit, but no, this is just a normal rain umbrella. Embarrassing, it's embarrassing. Next one, or next thing I have is these pencils. So these are the pencils I use for Gesang in design school. So I might show you guys my drawings later. Basically it has these and my teacher was a little bit angry at me because I, I bought this like first of all I bought this a long time ago I didn't buy these new so these only have like six in here one two three four five six yeah only has six in here so my teacher's like why did you buy this one it doesn't have enough pencils like you're supposed to buy the one that the school says but I'm like no I'm not buying that I already have these at my house I was supposed to buy the one that the school told me to but it's kind of expensive expensive too expensive for me okie dokie so next item i have is my extremely boro boro beat up wallet this is nirakuma it's so like mush up <laughs> So I shouldn't open this because you guys are gonna get my like credit card information But this is basically the, the design See how much money I have? It's bursting open with money No, I'm just kidding It's bursting open because I have so many cards in here Let's see, do I have any money to show you? I have like 5 yen So that's what a 5 yen coin looks like Oh, I also have some Canadian money but Like a quarter When I first bought this wallet, I was in love with it, super cute I bought this at the Sanex store that I showed you guys in my shopping vlog I bought this like two years ago or maybe one and a half year ago So now it's like beat up I need to buy a new wallet soon Maybe I'll buy a Sanrio one next And next day, I have my Chichang AirPods It's very dirty, I shouldn't open it It has my name on it And I actually got this for free when I ordered my MacBook in 2020 So I'm still using these ones and they're literally breaking now Sometimes the audio like glitches out and I think I'm like hallucinating like having a mental breakdown But no, they're just breaking because Apple is cheap so yeah I use these every day And let's see Oh, I think that was everything inside my bag The only thing that I didn't show you guys is this dinky little hair tie But yeah, that's like everything in my bag So now I'm gonna show you guys my art art case that I bring to school This is the case that I bring to school. It's literally so huge. Like I have to bring this on the train every morning and it's so annoying. And I stupidly put my name on here. And whenever I go on the train, I'm like embarrassed that people can know my name. Like I shouldn't have put the sticker right here, but the teacher said to put your name on it. But I don't know why I put it on the top. Like now people know my name. I'm gonna open this oh, art art case. Press this and it opens. And I'll show you guys. I didn't finish. So I didn't finish this. Here's one of my drawings. I still need to do this. And then we also do something at school called lettering. It's like designing your own letters, but these ones we're trying to copy them. So this is like also blue. And then I forget what this is gonna be, but yeah, I also didn't finish this. So you like make the grid and then you try and draw the characters. Basically, you have to pay attention to the certain angles, the points at the ends. Kind of hard to explain. I also have another drawing I didn't finish yet. I had to draw like a tissue box and I'm still shading it. Another thing I didn't finish yet, the Red Bull can. I still have the Red Bull, so I need to finish it. This is extremely 
extremely hard to do because the letters are like curved because of the can so it's extremely hard to shade but i'm scared to show you guys this next one because i had to rush to make sure that i made the dip line so it's kind of ugly but here's a grapefruit it looks a little bit like jacked up what did i get on this he gave me a b <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just average. I guess it's not like a D or anything, so. But yeah, and also I have this cutting mat that I bring to school sometimes when we have to cut stuff. I don't bring this every day, it's really heavy, but when the days that my teacher says to bring it, then I bring it. Alrighty, I think that was everything inside of my bag. I could show you guys like my handbag, like my purse, but I'll save that for a different video. So that was all that was inside of my bag as a design student in Japan studying abroad. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Follow my Instagram because I post on Instagram stories every single day. So make sure to follow for consistent content. Also subscribe and leave a comment. I reply to every single comment. So thank you very much. See you.